Hello everybody, this is Ethriel from Turker Hub. Uh, I'm going to do a series of videos about uh, writing a script for a specific MTurk kit. So if you're trying to um, find a place to start uh, to learn how to write your own scripts, that is what this series of videos will uh, try to address at least. Maybe get you, get you going on how to uh, write something simple at least. So um, we will get started. Um, I'm assuming that you uh, have Tamper Monkey installed and have been using uh, other user scripts for a while and are at least a little bit familiar with some of the things that I'm going to be talking about. So uh, if I gloss over everything, or <laughs> if I gloss over anything, uh, feel free to contact me and I will try to uh, explain as best I can. So without further ado, uh, name this is simple. So this is going to be our RNR script. And namespace is really just if you want to share it on Greasy Fork, you'll need to have a unique uh, URL up here or something like that. Uh, version, uh, description, and author are really uh, obvious. And then our include line I'll talk about in a second. The require line, and you can have another one of these um, down here with something that says like um, GM uh, set value. And I'm not sure if I did the capitalization right but um your require line is just going to be things that you're using in your script uh, that you don't have to write in your script so jQuery is a JavaScript library and it makes interacting with the uh, the hit frame quite a bit easier so uh, in vanilla JavaScript you're going to have to write out long strings and things to get to uh, say this radio button or that one and with jQuery, it just makes things a little bit easier. So um, I will write this in the description, and you can just copy it. Or um, a lot of user scripts on Greasy Fork will use jQuery, so you can just find one and copy it to your new script. So uh, let's talk about how to get our include line. Uh, I have a video out there um, somewhere <laughs> floating on YouTube um, about how to do this same thing. So. Uh, we just opened a hit from uh, mturk, uh, so we would do this on the hit we want to script, and you right-click and just click view frame source, frame source, yes, view frame source, and then you can get rid of that to view the hit without the mturk stuff around it, and what we really want is uh, the URL for this frame, okay? So I couldn't do it on the RNR hits or show you how to do it because they're not up right now. But luckily, uh, the man and genius behind Turker Hub uh, sent me the frame source for this hit earlier um, when they were up. So we get to work on this. So you'll notice that the URL for the 8 cent hit is mturk content and a bunch of other stuff after it. So we're just going to take mturk content put it right between our asterisks here, which are just wild cards. It says anything before or after mturk content doesn't matter, as long as the URL has mturk content. So uh, a quick note about that is that a lot of hits will run on mturk content URLs, and if you don't include a sanity check, this script will try to run on all of them. So the sanity check is going to be either the second or third video I do, and um, just keep in mind that if you do this without a sanity check, you're going to have to keep turning on and off your scripts all the time. So just be extra vigilant, and you should be fine. Um, and again, we'll go over that later. So let's talk about writing a script. Now, we have this hit. There are lots of scripts for it on Greasy Fork. Uh, Kaduchi has a great one. Uh, I, I use it when I do these if I'm feeling a little desperate. Um, and, it, you know, if you want a great script for this hit, just go on Greasy Fork and find one. But if you want to learn, that's what we're here to do. So you have a hit, and you want to select all of a single radio button. So you don't want to go through and click, you know, related, unrelated. You just want to go through and find the unrelated ones. So you need all those clicked. Um, and that's what we're going to start out and do. So we're going to right-click a radio button or near the radio button, and uh, go to Inspect, and that will bring up the Elements and Console in Chrome. If you're using uh, Firefox, I think the default has it down below, which I find a little odd, but uh, 
if you like that, that's cool too. But it should just be the same. Right click and inspect. Uh, and we can see here that when I hover over uh, things in this window, that um, our uh, there's highlight over here and tells you what you're you're really um, over. So I don't really know how to say that, but uh, it tells you where you are in the DOM, I guess would be the proper word. So uh, we can see our radio button uh, has uh, a type radio, that makes sense, a name, which is probably unique uh, to that single radio button. So this one's name and this one's name should be different, uh, but that's really what ID is. So that one's almost definitely different. All of these will have different names and IDs, and all of these will have different names and IDs that are different from those. So we're going to have to find something that all of the related radio buttons have in common. And the next thing over here we see is value equals query image related. So I'm guessing that we're going to have to try to click on all radio buttons that have a value of blah, blah, blah related. And just to make sure, I'm going to inspect this one and make sure that its value is the same. And we see here that it is. So we're just going to copy that. And I'm pretty sure we can get this done in one line. So we're going to use a little jQuery. So that's what the dollar sign is. And then um, let's see here. This format takes a while to learn. Uh, not format, but um, just the way to do it. Uh, it takes a little getting used to. So if we wanted to call something by an ID, like a specific element, we would use the pound symbol. Um, if we wanted to call something by a class, which is what uh, CSS uses, we would use a period. But if we want to just, um, let's get rid of those. But we can also just type in input. We can also just type in div. Anything purple here you can type in, uh, and you don't have to put a period or a uh, hash symbol. Uh, so we're going to type in input, and then I know that we're going to need all the inputs with a value of query image related, and you can see there the uh, double quotes are causing some issues, so we're just going to get rid of those. And this should uh, click all of the related radio buttons when we refresh the page. So let's go ahead and save it, R in our script, and you'll see all my bajillion user scripts here, so R in our script, and it should be running when we refresh and you'll notice that all of the related radio buttons are clicked now uh, so that should be the end of the first video uh, i don't really know how long i've been going but um i think i went over most things here uh, the next video will go over a sanity check so uh, how to prevent this script from running on a different hit we only want it on this one and we'll figure that out next time so thanks folks and have a good one